Are you looking to create your own 3D models and not sure where to start? Today we're going to create this barn step by step in Tinkercad and if you follow along by the end you'll have one at home to print and add to your collection. Stand by for a brief channel introduction while I get the print deck cleared, check the measurements and we get ready to get to work. Welcome to the Iron Horse Route, home of the Denver and Rio Grande Western. This is Brian. I'm glad you're here. And if you're not already a subscriber, I want to encourage you to subscribe because when you're a subscriber here, you get access to a lot of great model railroad video uploads. And so now that you're subscribed, we invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy today's video upload, which is coming up right now. All right, everybody, let's get to work. All right, so this is a series, everybody, and so if you've never used Tinkercad before, I'm going to recommend that you go to the playlist link in the description and go back to the very first video and start with that one. They're going to progressively get harder. If you um, are pretty good at Tinkercad but need to get brushed up, haven't done it in a while, you might want to go back one video, and if you're pretty good at it already and just want some strategies for how to build a barn and you're in the right place, we welcome all of you. Regardless, we're glad to have you here. Um, what we're going to do first is um, discuss uh, this barn, and we make the uh, barn in HO scale, and it should be ready to print when we're done. And um, there's going to be some things that we're going to do, like the width of the walls we make in HO. We might would normally, if we were HO scale, we might would make it a little smaller, a little thinner, for example, but we got to make them wide enough so when it's scaled down, it's good for Z scale and N scale and that kind of thing. So... We leave this barn over here as a reference for sizes because we're not smart enough to remember all that. And it looks like the very first thing we're going to do is bring out a rectangle 70 by 105 by 60. And so we'll bring that out here. We click the side and we're at 70 and 105. And 60. Uh-oh. Click the wrong thing. My bad. Top one is 60. All right. Now, we need to hollow out the interior. And I'm going to make each wall 3 millimeters thick for scalable reasons, as I mentioned before. So I duplicate. And I change it to the hole, and I'm going to work my way around. So here I go 102. I'm going to click on the black side middle one. And I'm going to change 70 to 67. I'm going to click on the top black middle one. I'm going to change 102 to 99. And I'm going to change, uh, click on the left black middle one. I'm going to change 67 to 64. Now I want to click here, I want to raise, uh-oh, I want to make sure that I have the transparent piece, let's see, we do now, alright, let's make it a little taller, and here we go, grab the cone, drop it down, and um, there's not going to be a bottom to this, we're going all the way through the bottom, because barns don't usually have a bottom, especially not this type. And so we're going to do a group there on this one. All right. So the first thing we need to do is make our uh, kind of lattice or whatever look that is on there. And that can be a little challenging. But one of the things is that's just challenging to it is to get it uh, spaced kind of where it looks nice. And so what I want to do is click here on the corner and I want to click here and we're going to change it to 10 all right and then we'll just raise this up to higher than 60 <clears throat> now I will come and what I like to do is start with I get near it and I'm going to change my um, I'm going to change my snap grid to 0.25. All right. Back up, get some reference here. And so I want it, as soon as it touches, I'm in one now. I want to go in another one. So I want to be in um, a 
half a millimeter. And then I want my pieces of uh, lattice to be about this wide. So what I'm going to do is leave this here. I'm going to hit duplicate. I'm going to hit the left arrow now until it's again about that wide. Try to get close. All right. Maybe one more time. And now I'm going to hit duplicate, 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 and see how this turns out. And boy, did we get lucky. That worked. All right. If yours did not come out that cleanly, where you had even lattice, then pause the video and go ahead and work on that just a second. You can um, just click here, hold shift, and click all of them, and do some minor adjustments if you can move them all. Or you can change the width you did it entirely. I'm going to go ahead and click here, and here, and I'm holding shift. And I'm clicking here. And I'm going to duplicate, and I'm going to use my arrows to move this guy all the way over. It'd move a lot faster if I changed my snap grid, but I don't want to change it back right this minute. All right, now, what I want to do is click here. And... should be able to one two three four five excuse me four, five, six is probably enough but we'll go ahead and do them all i'm going to duplicate and i'm going to turn them making sure not to grab a dot because then you'll just stretch them. I want to move them there. Now I'm going to back up here and I'm going to see if I can't get them right. And then I'll get rid of the extras if there are. I'll get rid of the extras and then I'll duplicate. All right, so I'm going to go in. As soon as it touches, then I go one, two more. All right, and I have very small ones on each edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here and delete and here and delete here and I'm going to move it in one two here I'm going to move it in one two and I'm going to click here move it in one two and there I think I'm pretty much even now not perfect, but um, it's going to be very close. Now I do here, 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 here. I hit duplicate, and I push them all the way over here. <coughs> I've got to make sure that this one and the right side are um, half a millimeter in, and then we'll just group the whole thing like this. And it's good to group them that way because then if you ungroup, you don't have them in all a bunch of pieces. You don't have to ungroup so many times. And so I'll go here, and I'm going to go till I touch. And I'm touching. One, wait, I'm touching. Wait. I wasn't touching. Now I'm touching. One, two. All right, I'm in there. Let's come over here. that I get them on. And let me push in. This will help. Move my screen a little bit. And I don't have to bend down. There you go. One, two. We're in there. All right. <clears throat> All my lattice pieces are half a millimeter in. I pull back. I select the whole thing and I group. And we've got our lattice pieces. Um, let's go ahead and do our barn eaves. And the um, <clears throat> first eave little here is 22 and a half. 
and then the second one is 45. I did that so the roof would print whole. And so, because we are in the beginning part of this series, and I do want to keep it simple. And so what we're going to do is make sure that we're plenty big, and um, you don't have to be as tall and fat with this one. But what we'll do is we're going to rotate one time. Now I want you to click here, and then we'll duplicate it, okay? And we're going to mirror it, and then I want you to click this right arrow here, and then use your... arrows and we're going to zoom in in a sec and make sure that they're touching perfect <clears throat> and they're not yet so let's go back okay, so we got zoomed in good and they are right. So let's go here and here. I'm going to bring it up some. And I'm um, going to go ahead and try something. Let's duplicate and repeat. And I want you to go another 22.5 with this one. All right. And now I don't want to do that. I'm going to undo. Um... I don't want to do them at the same time. I'm scared we could get something wonky. So let's bring these down. And what I want to do is, is make sure that we're touching the eave and then we're going to center it. Okay. So basically let's do this. With both of these selected, let's group it. Okay. And now it's one piece. Now we can click here and here and align and we can center them. All right. And the thing is, I didn't know that I could get that other piece in the right place. But now we're centered. We just want to make sure that we're hitting the eave on the top. And we are. So we go here. Now we can select it all and do a group. All right. Let's bring another one in here. All right, let's just make sure that it is wider. Let's make sure this one's uh, a little bit taller because the 45 acts a little different. So I want you to bring this into here. I want you to bring it up. And I want you to come here and let's use your arrows until we hit in the center. All right. Once you know you're on the center, then I want you to come up. And we're going to go 45 this time. All right. Now we'll sink down. And let's see, where am I at? I need to check my height here. I'm at... We'll go to 30. All right, height should be 30. Click this. We're going to duplicate. We're going to click mirror. And we're going to click this side. Move to the right. I haven't figured out a way to not have to eyeball this one, guys. So what I try to do is make sure we are here, shift. I got both of these. I'm going to group them. 
Now I'm going to click here and here, and I'm going to do my align tool. And that is as straight as I can be sure to get them. And then I'm going to group. All right, there we go. I think that's fine. Looks a little different, but fine. All right, next, let's bring in a rectangle. We want the rectangle to be, how is this? 105. Let's make the rectangle 115 long. All right, and let's click here, and we're going to go too tall. And let's see. I'm going to come over here and ungroup. And ungroup. I want to know how long these things are. All right, let's make them. I think this one's 20, right? Yeah, and this one's 25. All right, the top one's 20, and the first one's 25. So we can leave this like this. Let's do here, though, and let's go ahead and change our color. All right. Let's get a rectangle. Let's bring it in here. We're going to make our raised seams. So, let's go here, and you should still be at 0.25 on your snap over here. So, when you raise up, I want you to raise to 1.5. All right. I want the width of these to be 5. And let's move this out where the seams are big enough to print. And make sure that you're <clears throat> extruding. Duplicate and move. And then continue to duplicate. All right, let's come over here. Shift and bam. Group it. All right. Now we got a raised seam roof. And I want to bring this. Uh, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to bring another one back here. Let's click the corner and we're going to change this one to 25. All right. This one we're going to raise up. I don't know where better. I will need all that. So okay. And this one we're gonna rotate the twenty two five. This one we're gonna bring up. They should be fairly let's click here and here and align them to make sure because we did change the sign. If they're centered there they should be fine. Click here, and we're going to rotate 45, this one is. Now, all we want to do here is undo. I'm going to use my arrows. And the cone. And I'm just going to make sure that, as you can see, I don't have a wonky piece. I'm going to click here. I'm going to hold shift, and I'm going to click here. And I'm going to group it. <clears throat> the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to mirror it. Bring this guy here. I'm 
Make sure we're good. Hold shift. We'll group this. And now if we've done well, this will fit. Yes, sir and ma'am. Ready to move on to the next step. Time to do that. Well, let's get over here, though, first. Oops, I just saw something. I want to click here and here. Don't want to group it, but I do want to align it. And then if I click center here, there we go. Much better. All right. All right, let's cut out the garage door for this barn. And so let's bring a rectangle in here. And I know for a fact I want this to be 30 by 30. So I'm going to do 30 here, go enter, I click the height, and I'm going to do 30, and go enter here. All right, it is the, uh, let's go ahead and duplicate it one time and bring it over here. I'm going to need it. And then let's click here, and let's just bring it into a good place. I like to make sure that it's not going to um, leave a little bitty sliver of lattice somewhere is all. And so I'm going to come over here just a little bit more. Just make sure it's poking all the way through the model, but not too far. Hold shift and click that because we want to do a whole cutout. Now, if you'll swing over here, we're going to do this was uh, what? Um, uh, well, it's we want to click here and we want to change it to 10 by 10. I want you to go up to 17. And then let's pull this thing. Let's duplicate one time. Back up. And then let's pull this thing all the way through. Hold shift. Click the barn. And click group. And now you got that there. Now the reason why we did this. Is I want you to change, click here. Because we're going to click do some recessions now. And so we've got a good one here. So I'm going to duplicate it. Because we're going to need it over here at the barn. And for a door. And then I'm going to click here. And I'm going to change this to 11. By 11. Now let's use the arrows. And then make sure your snap's at 0.25. Let's come over here. And drop it down. We just want to get it as even as we can everywhere. Maybe one more drop here. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is come in. I'm going to back it out until I know. All right, one time, one, two. And then I hold shift. And what I'm going to do, though, before I do anything else, actually, is I'm going to duplicate and I'm going to bring the arrow to bring it over because i got to do that other window, too. Do them at the same time so we don't have extra grouping. Come here. This one should be perfectly lined up. We just need to bring it until it touches. One, two. All right, I got that in there. I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to click this one and to click the bar. Now I should have. Recessions cut out for my window frame. I want to come here, and this was 30 by 30, so I want to go on this one. I'm going to do 32. I'm going to do 32 by 32. Let's drop it. 
Let's push this in until we touch. Let's get it evened up. Because I want these to be a little fatter. Here, I'm going to bring it back till I touch. One, one, two. Hold shift and click the wall. And here. All right, now I got recessions on all my holes that I have cut for the thorn. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to now make the recession for the door. So I'm going to need to see how big this door frame is. It's four. Let me show you here. It is 14 by 26. So I'm going to make a recession on the ground. That is 27 by 14. So I'm going to do the cutout for the window for this last. I just need to put this in a sensible place. We're going to move it in until it hits one, two. Hold shift and click the model, and there we go. All right, we got our door ready. And the only thing we need to do now, as far as recessions go, and let me get this out of the way. I need to find out the 15 by 15. All right, so let me come over here. I need one centered over here that's 16 by 16 for that. Because I got to thinking the first time I made it, I didn't cut this out. And that's going to cause problems. So we're going to go 16 wide by 16 tall. Right, and then let's bring it up to a sensible place. Back it up. Alright. Ten, two. Now I just want to click this hold shift and I'm going to center it. That way I know exactly where it is. I do want to bring it up to... Let's say 38. All right. One, one, two. Hold shift and click. And now we got a recession for that guy too. So it's going to need something there. All right. And as we mentioned before, this was... 14 by 26, right? All right. And I made this cut out how big? Okay. This should be 27. Yeah. Un uh, click here, ungroup, ungroup. And let's change this to 15, please. I made a mistake there. I apologize. Then you can click this one. And this one and hold shift and click your group again. And now it'll be proper. <clears throat> Bring in another rectangle. And let's change this one to white. Alright. Now. I want you to. Make this. Two. We will make this 14 by 26. All right. We will duplicate and we will make this 13. Click here and make that 12. We'll click here and make this one. 25. Do not click <clears throat> anything else. Click the hole, move out till you don't see it. Move back in one time, one, two, hold shift, click this model, clear you got them both. There you go. All right, bring this here. 
and put it in here where it belongs. Okay. Now. All right. Now the door. Is. 12 by 25. Look. Let's click here. And ungroup one time. Uh, the size of this opening is. The. Uh. Inside is 12 by 25. So we're going to make this door. Click here, over here, and again. We're going to click this door, and it's going to be 11.5, 24 24.5. And let's change it to whole. I don't know why I had that like that. And white. And let's make it 1.5 thick. And let's raise it up a little bit. And bring it in here. Height should be 24.5. All right. There's your door. Bring a box, rectangle, transparent rectangle. I want you to make it five wide and five tall. We're going to raise it up here to about 16. Let's say 16. And we want to spin it 45. I want to click this and the door. And I want to click alignment and I want to click center. And now I want to move this. I want to back up. Because I have the door selected to click. Now I want to click off. Click this and move this into the door through the frame and through the barn. I want you to click duplicate, duplicate. I want you to hold shift and click just the door and click group. I want you to click the window again. Just hold shift, click just the frame and click group. I want you to click the window again and click just the barn and click group. All right, there we go. All right, let's bring in a cylinder for our door handle. We'll change it to silver. You don't have to do that, of course. But let's see here. Let's go two. And two. And let's say four. Come roll in and... Spin at 90. And let's, I'm going to shrink it down to 250 and bring it back. I'm going to shrink it down to 150 and bring it out. Now, I just want to do it in one time, and I want it a little further over there, shift in here. Once you're happy with it, you can group it, and then let's come here and do a multicolor on that one. All right, now we need to make our window frames, our garage door frame, and then we'll make the cross frame for here, and then we'll show you how to lay this out and 3D print it. Alright, so next we will bring in a rectangle. And we're going to go to 31. Let's check on the height as 
was 31. We're going to make our width here, too. Now we will duplicate click here and we will duplicate. We're going to make it a hole. Now I want to click here and I'm going to change it from 31 to 29. Then I want to click here. And I'm going to change it from 29 to 27. And then I'm going to click up here, and I'm going to change 31 to 29. And then I'm going to click here, and I'm going to do an undo because I want to make sure I have the transparent piece. And I push it out, push it through, I hold shift, and I click that. I'm going to click here, and I'm going to change it to white. And then... All right, we got a good fit now there. All right. <clears throat> Next. One more. And we did the cutout 10 for the window. And we did the recession cutout 11. So we're going to do this one. 10.5. Height will be 10.5. Width will be 2. And you're going to need to spin this one. And then drop it. That's because we need to do all four sides. We can't do it standing up. So we want to duplicate. And we'll do a transparent. And let's go here. And we want to reduce it by one. Or let's say 1.5 each. We're in HO scale. So I'm going to go to nine. And I'm going to go backwards. And I'm going to say we're going to do these one each. I'm going to click here and go 9.5. I'm going to click here and go 9.5. Uh-oh. Here, clicked off. 9.5. Enter. Here. 8.5. Enter. Here. Click here and 8.5. Enter. Now we'll increase the height, drop it down, hold shift, click the white part, and group. Now we will spin it 90. Get it here and place it properly, but then we'll duplicate it and run the other one across. Looking good. Scroll back. Duplicate. Left arrow. And we'll bring this guy across. Uh-oh. Let's see. There we go. And bring it out. Alright, we're good there. Finally, we need to bring in one more, which will be two. All right. Height here is going to be 28. You can change it to white. And our width is going to be 27. 
I'm not mistaken. Let's make sure that fits. It does. But before we get too excited, let's bring the model this way. Drop it down here. Hit drop. Bring in a transparent box. Stretch it out a little bit. We're going to make it 0.25 thick. And we're going to raise it to 1.5. Next, we will put it here. We're going to duplicate. Duplicate, 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 duplicate. And group. Here we go. And put this here where it belongs. <clears throat> and finally, we need one more. And we need to make it, let's just make it too tall. And we're going to make it 15 by 15. We're going to make it white. This time we are going to go fourteen. Oop, undo. Duplicate, hold, click here, we'll subtract one each time, 14, enter, 14, enter, click here, 13, enter, click here, 13, enter. Pull up a little bit, squish down, group them. All right, bring a piece here, and we will cut it down to two, and it's going to be two. Let's make it white. And we're going to make it 18, if I'm not mistaken, that's right. Let's bring the model here, here, and spin it. There, let's duplicate it, mirror it, click to the right, we will back up, and group it. Now we'll click here, we'll turn it 90 degrees. Let's bring it right here and up here. There we go. Very well. Now, we will show you how to take it apart to 3D print it. Now, if you need to rescale it, for example, say I want to rescale this. If I want to go from HO scale where it is, let's say to N scale, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to do 87 divided by 160 equals. <clears throat> and it shows me 54%. Okay? So what I'm going to do is to go to N scale, I'm going to click here. And I'm going to type 54%. Then I'm going to click here, and I'm going to type 54%. Then I'm going to click here, and I'm going to type 54%. And you can do that whether you're getting bigger or larger for your scale. And now I have just put that guy down into end scale, okay? But what we're going to do finally is just show you what I think you need to do in order to 3D print it. Um... You could do it all whole, um, possibly, um, but what I would do is take it apart. I would do uh, 
the gray part, I'd do the roof gray. I would print the barn whatever color you wanted, and then I'd do all the other accessories white. So let's bring this one here like this, and let's turn it 90 degrees. And I didn't turn it 90. Very important, you always make sure you turn it exact. And we're going to drop it. All right, I hit D to drop it to the deck. I'm going to duplicate it because i got another one just like it. And that way we don't have to fool with it. I'm going to bring this here. I'm going to hit D to drop it. I'm going to bring this here. I'm going to hit D to drop it. I'm going to bring this here. I'm going to hit D to drop it. I'm going to bring this here. I'm going to hit D to drop it. Finally, I'm going to bring this out. And I'm going to hit D to drop it. <clears throat> now, all the white accessories are out. I've already duplicated the other one of this one, so I don't need it again. Now, I'm going to get over here. I'm going to select them all. Okay? I'm going to hit align and back up, and let's do that. We'll just make sure we aligned them all. They're all aligned. Now I'm going to select them, and I'm going to flip them 90. And then I'm going to drop them. All right. Now you can rearrange them however you want, and you got all your white flat and ready to print. Bring this over here. Drop it. This should print by itself. This should print by itself. And so now you print this red, you print this gray, and you print this white. If you have any problems, I would assume it's going to be right here. You could add some supports, but I think I have scaled it or angled it where you can print it straight like it is without supports. All right, we want to thank you very much for watching today. If you're watching more than a week after this video uh, came out, um, there's going to be another one after it, and depending upon how long it is uh, that you've... Uh, how long it is since this video has come out. Um, there could be anywhere from 2, 3, to 30 more in this playlist after it. So we hope you'll check out the ones after that. There's a link in the description to the playlist. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. If you know anybody that you think would benefit from this, anybody that might be able to learn from uh, what you've uh, learned here, um, I want you to share this video with them. I would appreciate that. And again, we want to appreciate you for watching. Thank you very much for your support. I want to um, ask you to comment below and let us know you were here. And don't forget to smash that thumbs up button for us. Thank you very much, everybody. We appreciate you. Got another one coming out next week. It's the Trackside Signal House. We hope to see you there. Thank you very much. Let's get